support this channel by subscribing and leaving comments. is over you can turn the lights out and go to sleep comfortably knowing that my next guest and his buddies are out looking for such creatures as the Loch Ness Monster, Bigfoot, and Big Bird. <laughs> this man is a cryptozoologist and he has been on the prowl for over seven years. Please welcome Eric Beckyard. Eric, come on out, sir. Hi, Eric. Hi. Nice to see you. How are you? Pretty good. Your, your last name is pronounced Beckyard, B-E-C-K-J-O-R-D? Uh, yes, it is. What Beckyard. nationality name is that? It's Norsky. Norsky, meaning in the Scandinavian countries? Norwegian-like. Right. Norwegian. Nice to have you here. Now, what are we talking about, cryptozoology? Define that word for us. Well, it's been defined a lot of different ways, and the way I define it's a little different than uh, some of the more conventional guys do. Um, it's really the science or the study of looking for hidden animals, uh -huh. but I add in there hidden critters as well. Mm -hmm. What would be the difference between a critter and an animal? Okay, a, uh, a hidden, a hidden uh, animal in the past might be the megamouth shark which is a giant shark that's been discovered in the last uh -huh. five years. Is that like a great white shark? Uh, it's something like a whale shark that eats plankton. Uh -huh. Pretty harmless. Um, but it has a huge mouth, therefore, mm -hmm. mega mouth. And that actually exists in nature? It actually exists. That's okay. an animal. Yeah. Um, we have then, on the other hand, critters. Mm -hmm. Critters. Being? Critters are uh, animals or things that look like animals, act like animals, but just resist getting caught. You can't just uh, put out a hook and catch one, and you can't decide to go and trap one one day. But do they exist? They exist. They actually do exist. I believe so, and I hope maybe I can convince some of you that they do as well, and that maybe you'll come when... and see our museum. <laughs> 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 see, it's too bad you didn't have time to make a sign or something for the... Uh... <laughs> um, okay, let's get to that in a second. But now we have here as tangible as there does exist evidence to support the fact that they do exist. We don't have dead bodies. If we mm -hmm. had dead bodies... All right, what are we talking about? The Loch Ness Monster, a Sasquatch, and Big Bird. What, no, what is Big Bird? I thought that was a Muppet. Big Bird usually... <laughs> big Bird is usually found on Sesame Street, mm -hmm. but there is a type of Big Bird that is nicknamed that. Like a the pterodactyl. Seems... Right. And uh, there is a model of that called Quetzalcoatlus uh, Nothropi, I think but that's, it is. But that's extinct. And, but there are people in Texas that claim they are seeing it anyway. Okay. And this is very mysterious. Right, let's, let's get to the evidence here, uh, Tom. Okay. Um, this, is is Tom? A, this is Eric. Eric. Right here. Eric. <laughs> see, see if, and if you'd put your name on the sign. This is, this is Tom. <laughs> <laughs> this Tom, me, Eric. <laughs> All right, Eric. What I'd like to show you here <laughs> is something that no television audience has seen before. Now, that's the Loch Ness Monster. This is the latest photograph of same. Now that's, see, I would, based on that, I would think that that might be in existence. And the reason this one is important, this particular picture by Jennifer Bruce of Vancouver, B.C., mm -hmm. is that she took with a little camera, little old pocket camera, um, this photograph, Thank which you. has in it a buoy. Not a girly, but a buoy. And uh, <laughs> this is a comedy show. Now. Well, it was till now, Tom. If you, <laughs> <laughs> what we have here is with these two buoys, we have something to measure this by. Yeah. And this seems to be three times larger than these, which are about three feet in diameter. Mm -hmm. This would give us an eight or nine foot tall creature. But we still have no evidence that this hasn't been doctored. But it looks, it looks good. Well, Dr. Bruce Maccabee decided it was not doctored. Uh -huh. He looked at it in Washington, D.C. He's an optical expert. And uh, Dr. Um, Olson of the Smithsonian okay. tells me that he does not think this is any kind of bird. Mm -hmm. No. <laughs> well, good. I could have told you that. I don't. <laughs> I, I, I swear to God, I don't think that's a bird. Okay. What's next? Let's let's take it. We got a minute, then we'll do okay. a commercial. Let's see some more of this stuff. This, it, these are other Loch Ness monsters. Okay. Let, we've seen the Loch Ness monster. Let's go on to like Bigfoot. Let's let's go on to Bigfoot. Uh, okay. This is Eric. Tom. I'm Eric. Eric. Right. And um, <laughs> this is a a. A, of course, is a head, a, a large head, sculpted. You, you based, made this, didn't you? I made this, yeah. based upon photographs. Um, 
such as this one. Did, did somebody at the Smithsonian tell you this is not a bird? <laughs> I, had a, I had another professor there tell me three years ago that, um, that they don't have any dead bodies of it, therefore come on back later. You know. Now, have you ever seen one of these things? Only three times. Now, th is this what... Three times? Really, you've actually seen... Now, th now, I'll bet somebody out here will tell me before the show's over that they have seen it too. Well, sure, here in New York. <laughs> Um, Central Park? Yeah. Well, we'll do a commercial, Eric, and then we'll come back and we'll look at some more of this fascinating stuff with our cryptozoologist. We have some more pictures of Bigfoot. Let's look at these just quickly. I think people may have probably seen these pictures. There Not this one. That's rare. That one's taken by a 17-year-old boy in Idaho uh -huh. uh, with a Polaroid. Okay. And then here's, here's another one. And that's the classic one yeah. from the Patterson movie. Yeah. yeah. Taken in 67. 67. You're right. Uh -huh. You're really up on this. That's well, so right. Uh-oh. Okay. <laughs> Okay, what else have we got here to look at, uh, Eric? Tell okay. me about the museum. Where is your museum located? We are opening it in October yeah. on Halloween. Oh, that'd be nice. In uh, Malibu. Malibu. It's probably going to be, it's going to be in a mobile home, and uh, it's going to be very small. These... I think that's how the Whitney started. Yes. <laughs> These are track casts that were um, taken uh, from a set of 1,064 back in 1969. 1,064 footprints, imprints? Yes. So these, these would be the, the feet of the... Uh, this is the missing link, is what we're talking about, isn't it? Each one was different uh -huh. because of movement. Each of the 1,064 were different? There was movement in the, in the, in the toes, uh -huh. and uh, indicating that they were not made by something like this, yeah. in which there is no movement. That's right. But when, when this animal showers, he always, <laughs> always would wear a pair of these. Yep. We, were, we, got a, we have a hotline, and we respond to calls about Bigfoot. Okay. And, and finally, uh, against my better judgment, tell us what this stuff is okay. here. Um, this, for gourmets, is um, Sasquatch droppings. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that have been analyzed by, by Dr. Von Bryant at Texas A&M. Now, but what, 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 uh, to what, ex I mean, uh, <laughs> I mean, what can the nature of that analysis be? What it is, is what it is not. He says it is not bear, not elk, not cattle, and not horse. Mm -hmm. Now, since tracks were found near this, and it was a huge pile of this stuff <laughs> on top of a small mesa mm -hmm. that cattle could not get up to, the, uh, and there was a sighting near there. What about a fat camper with a bad diet? <laughs> well, maybe not. I don't know. Well, this is I, don't, I don't even want to get to that. <laughs> uh, uh, Eric, good luck with the museum. It'll be opening on Halloween in Malibu, California. Nice to meet you.